Okay, let's proceed to putting your loom together. You're going to need your two side rails that look the same. What you want to look at for on these is one end, you notice, has no hole here. The other end has a hole. Okay, look for that hole, and that's going to be the side that you are going to do your weaving on. So your heddle support has got to go on this end. Also, pay attention to the fact that here you can't see it. You can't see a, a grommet or insert, and here you can. You want that insert to the outside of your loom, okay? So find your two pieces that, go, that match and line them up. Here's the hole on this one, and here's my insert. So I want that to the outside of the loom. So there's one outside and the other outside, okay? Got them matching. Here's your um, support pieces. This one that has the bracing is where your heddle is going to sit and the side you're going to weave from. That goes on the end that has the hole in it. So bring it down here and line it up with those holes. This end that has a, a platform is your back end that's going to provide the weight when you're warping and it goes on the back side, the side that does not have a hole up here. These bolts, in either end of these, there's a long one and a short one. And on this one, a long one and a short one. These are not actually going to go in any of the holes on here. They're going to go in these long guide slots. They're there to keep everything straight and to keep everything guided correctly. Anyway, take that and you're going to want to do one side at a time. Don't try to do um, don't try to do the end and then do the end, but do one one guide rail, and you can they're just stuck through that long groove. Only one bolt is sticking out now. The other one is just there to act as a guide. Same thing over here. I'm going to put those two bolts, both of them, into the guide slot, and on the outside you'll only be able to see one of them. Sometimes it helps to kind of do it each end a little bit at a time until you get them set right in there. Now you know if I can do this, anybody can do it because I am not mechanically or technically minded at all. So you want to get those in there like that. All right, now you've got your basic rails put together. You're going to want to take your dowel rod. What? Oh, well, you're going to put your knobs on here in a minute. You're going to take your dowel rod. I've got a coach over here who's trying to mouth things at me without actually talking. And you're going to slide it through there, get it about centered. Then you're going to want to dump out this bag of knobs. And you're going to want to find two with no bolts in the end, okay? They're just open, and you're going to put this on until it's finger tight. Same thing over here. Two more, just exactly the same, and you're going to put them on down here at the bottom. And you can see as I'm tightening that, it's kind of pulling everything together and pulling everything into square. got all four of them in, you might just go back and check to make sure they're all finger tight. Find your four little wooden donut holes and you're going to center your die out. It's pretty centered, doesn't have to be exact. No need to get out the tape measure. And you're going to rotate two of these on to either end 
This is going to keep your loom from moving back and forth in the stand. Okay, your loom's put together. And you can pick it up by the dowel rod. But I find it easier to pick it up here, like this. Grab it on the dowel rod. It is heavy. And set it into your stand. And if you've done everything correctly, it should uh, be weighted with the bottom part down because this is your weight for when you're actually warping. Once you put your heddle on, then that should balance out so that it's sitting like this. And we'll get the heddle put together here in just a second. <laughs> 